Hello, I'd like to introduce you to the Lintec RPC and RPCR line of panels and their capability to load shed at the circuit level. This is a base feature of the RPC controller and it can give you a more efficient way to implement load shedding for peak shaving or backup generator cutover processes. Load shedding by definition is the act or process of disconnecting the electrical current on certain lines when the demand becomes greater than the supply. This is a very important element of implementing emergency backup generator and peak shaving programs. Backup generator power transfer or cutover and peak shaving both create a number of negative unintended consequences, all of which can be overcome with controlled shutdown and sequential restart at the individual circuit level. And this, and this can be accomplished for far less money than traditional custom panels using contactors and PLC circuits by using RPC panels with remote control breakers or RPCR panels, which use relays. Load shedding by individual electrical circuit allows for a controlled shutdown of selected circuits, followed by a stepped or sequenced restoration of power for high inrush loads like air compressors and electric motors. Simultaneously, you can lock out non-essential loads for the duration of the standby generator's required runtime. Combining these processes results in a number of payoffs. You can extend your generator runtime by reducing electrical load. You can reduce the generator and fuel supply sizing. You can reduce starting load surge and demand from the generator. And you can sequentially restart the high demand loads to avoid overloads. So there's a lot of benefits to, to doing this this way. The most appropriate place to add individual circuit control to help reduce generator inrush and shave peak current demand is at the circuit breaker panel after the automatic transfer switch. Circuit control devices like remote controlled circuit breakers or relays can be incorporated with the ATS switch contacts to control circuit restarting or lock out secondary circuits while the standby generator is providing power. This can be accomplished in either of the following ways. One, through the installation of an intelligent remote control breaker panel for example, the Lintec RPC motorized circuit breaker panel. It uses motorized circuit breakers that have a switch built right in so it provides electrical protection and on-off control on the same device. Or second, you can install a smart relay panel in between your breaker panel and the ATS, and that would be, for example, the RPCR, which we're actually going to use for our demonstration purposes today. And retrofit installations, latching relay panels will add on-off control to existing circuit breakers. Regardless of the control platform selected, the controller must have the following features. It's got to have an IP accessible web server for setup and control. This feature provides the platform for quickly determining what circuits are shut down, stay down, or sequence back to life after the power transfer. New smart control platforms have simpler browser-based interfaces with checkboxes that make moving breakers in and out of status preferences a snap. The second thing it has to have is onboard brownout sensing. Intelligent controls sense voltage sags or brownouts and turn off the circuits powering sensitive equipment. When stable power is restored, intelligent controls automatically sequence on the circuits that were disconnected for protection. In the Lintec system, to add brownout protection to a circuit, simply go to the Setup tab and select the brownout feature. The next thing you'll do is select whether you'd like the recovery to be automated, in which case you check the Enable Recovery box, or whether you'd like the recovery to be manual, in which case you'd, you would select Disable. After that, select the individual circuits that you'd like to shut off automatically in case of a power sag or a power outage. In this case, you'll see that we've checked the bottom six green boxes under B for brownout. If I'd like to change that, simply unselect the box, select any other circuit that you'd like to be added. Once I've selected the circuits that I'd like to be included in brownout, I simply save changes. In the future, the internal monitoring will make sure that those circuits are automatically turned off once a power sag or outage occurs. The third feature that a controller must have is the ability to have adjustable automatic restart. This is the feature that provides the ability to select which circuits remain off when needed or sequence back on after the power is transferred. <clears throat> More advanced intelligent controls offer the ability to modify which individual circuits are switched off during brownouts or generator operation using an ordinary web browser. No wiring reconfiguration is required. To add load shedding on contact closure input, simply, again, go to Setup tab, go to Panels under Setup, and enable the Emergency Shutoff feature. Once this feature is enabled, 
Again, you have to select whether you'd like automated or manual recovery. Once that's selected, go to the e-box, the slightly mauve or pink boxes, and check which boxes you'd like to include in an emergency shutdown. I remove circuit four, and now I have five circuits that will automatically shut down on contact closure command. S click Save Changes, and it's done. Under our current setup, you would have five circuits that would automatically power down once the generator cuts over, and five circuits then that would stay off during the runtime of the generator. Using these three features, you can have all non-essential circuits turned off once a power outage or under voltage condition occurs. After generator cutover or to peak shave energy usage, have all selected circuits either stay off or sequence back on to spread out the current in rush to reduce peak demands. And the third thing that will happen is you'll have all non-essential circuits turn off again when power transfers back to commercial distribution. And then all circuits are sequenced back on once normal commercial power is restored and stabilized. It's a great system. All this happens automatically, and it can bring a lot of value to your install. To find out more or if you have questions, please contact us, info at lintech.com or 1-800-724-4047. Thank you.